Up next, tune in for a glimpse of a signature event in the global business world. Now, we'll take you to GE's Lean Mindset Leadership Summit, happening today in New York City. That we've made already today. So these are three very different comparisons between GM and auto to consumers to now what you're doing at PG&E. And if we kind of camp on that journey a little bit and you compare lean and automotive to kind of the questions you had to ask, the, the approach you took at consumers first with a compare and contrast, how did you go about that and how, how different was it? Well, I think one of the biggest differences um, and I remember I was hiring an executive who had come from automotive. He and I had worked together, and I was at CMS Energy, and I brought him to the window in, in our uh, office complex, and we were looking out the window across the community, and I said, that's our shop floor. So it's a totally different shop floor. One of the things that was the great benefit in a, a well-designed lean operation was being able to see the work. And Gemba has a completely different uh, understanding when you cover two-thirds of California. Uh, Gemba is a different kind of challenge. And so that was a, that was a big change uh, for us. And what that requires is a workforce that has an extremely high level of ownership. Because you, we don't have a one-to-one -one ratio, worker to supervisor. So the workforce who is out all across California today serving our friends, our families, our neighbors, has to be equipped to make great decisions, has to um, have the skills, and also that lean mindset to do it in the, the lowest cost way. So that's a totally, wholly different kind of challenge from being able to see an assembly line and address the problems as they happen. So you have that challenge with Gemba that's a state. Yeah. You have, you come to PG&E that's in a, in a challenged environment, and you're trying to build an operating culture and implement lean. It must have been different trying to start at PG&E relative to when you started at CMS. Can you yeah. share a little bit of that and how you've had to go about it differently? Well, I think one of the things I learned both at CMS and then carried with me to PG&E is that it's often, and I'm sure those of you who have done lean implementations or have been working to implement lean know that people can get confused about the tools, and it can be tools for tools' sake. And what we had learned and, and designed then was a very simple playbook that wasn't about the tools, but it was about the mindset. It was about the culture. It was about creating simple rubrics for people to be able to lean, a place to lean and learn from. And so we have a, a basic. Stay tuned to hear more from Dara Khosrowshahi and Jim Farley in the next hour.